Buffalo's number one for new country, 106.5 WYRK. Good morning. I'm Rob Banks from Clay and Company, and today we have our latest winner of the Salina Plumbing, Heating, and Cooling Nonprofit of the Month. Every month, we put up all the nonprofits in Western New York, and they go head to head, try to win some money. And Salino generously donates 500 bucks. And this month's winner is Empire Rescue. And ladies, introduce yourself this morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, my name is Courtney, and I'm the president of Empire Animal Rescue. And I'm Tawny, I'm secretary and treasurer of Empire Animal Rescue. And you guys sometimes refer to yourself as EARS too, right? Correct. Yes, we wanted that cute little acronym to stand out. We love it. Well, tell us a little bit about the organization and tell us how you guys got started. Um, we've actually been rescuing for close to 20 years. Um, we kind of popped up because there wasn't really anywhere in our area for the stray and abandoned animals to go. Um, so a group of us kind of just started rescuing on our own and everything built up. And now here we are with ears. Um, and we're all volunteers, so we all have other jobs and work full time, and we just find time in our days to squeeze in the animal rescuing. That's awesome. Now, you guys serve, you guys are in like the Salamanca Southern Tier area, but you guys primarily serve down there, right? We do, but we also have volunteers um, up in your area. We have fosters all over Western New York and Northern okay. Pennsylvania. Okay, so now what kind of animals do you take in? You take animals from all walks of life in your organization, right? We do, um, primarily dogs and cats is what we get most of the calls on, but um, just recently we had a chinchilla, we had bunnies, we had a gerbil and a hamster. Um, we've taken in horses and farm animals before. Um, some of our volunteers can, can handle that. So oh, no kidding. what we take in really just depends on what our fosters can handle at the time and have room for. So really there's remote fosters all over Western New York. And when people drop off either, you know, a dog or a stray cat or anything like that, that's what you do. You find placement homes for them in the meantime, correct? Absolutely. We, we like it like that. Like everyone always wanted to know if we're going to, you know, make a shelter or have a shelter. Um, mm -hmm. The answer is no, we don't want a shelter. We, we like um, to have the animals in the home. So we kind of know their behavior a little better, better, whether they get along with children, other animals, um, all their traits and behaviors. And they're never, right, and that way they're never inside of a cage. They're always with other people all the time. That's awesome. Now, yeah. you, you'll get abused animals or stray animals, correct? And if, they, if someone has an animal that they want to get to you to help, what's the best way to do that? Um, we usually uh, direct people to chat with us on our Facebook page because um, someone like we don't have anyone who's like a paid employee. So no one's like sitting by the phone all the time. Um, but there is a phone number on there that people can leave a message. Um, and we have a chat on there that people can message us. And we always um, have we're always available on email at empirerescue at gmail.com. So people can reach out in a variety of ways to get awesome. to us. Now, with the $500, what will you guys be using that for primarily uh, for Empire Animal Rescue? We spend about $2,000 to $2,500 a week on spay and neuter. Um, oh. We, you know, so we'll definitely put that towards our medical bills. That's awesome that you guys are doing this. Congratulations on everything. Is there anything that we can do to help you or if anybody wants to even just donate, what link can we go to? Do we just email you? Is there a Facebook page? Um, we have, I'll let our treasurer tell you about how you can reach us and help us out monetarily. Yep, we have a Facebook page, as Courtney mentioned. Um, we also do Venmo. We're, we're trying to stay with the times there. Um, we have Venmo, so that's at Empire Rescue for the Venmo um, donations. We also have PayPal, if people are interested in that. It's um, empirerescue at gmail.com to use as the PayPal address. Um, but yeah, we also, we can do checks if people want to use, um, really old school and go, uh, with the mail. It's PO box four, four, five in Salamanca, New York. That's so, awesome. um, but yeah. definitely Facebook and email is a great way to contact us as well. Is and if you want to donate online, you can go to our website at empirerescue.org. Awesome. Now, if I go to the website, am I going to be able to see all the animals that might need um, a home? 
We generally, um, we have a lot more animals than what we show on our website because they don't go on the website until they've been spayed and neutered and are ready to go. Mm -hmm. Um, so we'll have other animals that aren't quite ready to go yet. We have a lot of moms and babies and stuff like that, that are still, you know, being nurtured before they can get adopted. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today, ladies. One more time, tell us the website. And if anybody wants to help either donate and, or looking to see some of those cute animals, what's the website we go to? EmpireRescue.org, and then um, if if they want to do anything else, they can just email us. If they didn't catch what we said, we'll email them back. Um, it's EmpireRescue at gmail.com for our email. So thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate your time and getting us um, a little publicity here. Some exposure. Have a great day, yeah. ladies, and we'll put that up on the website for you soon. Okay. All right. Thank you. You too. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.